interesting. Two things I want to jump in now because one is what you just said. The way you're thinking makes me think of the way a software engineer would think, which is what we do at WIA, which is maybe you have a large project to tackle, but you don't want to create the entire software that solves everything right away because it's too complex. So you want to go by modules, you know? Maybe you start the first model using what the client has, and then that gives you one benefit. And then you add another model, in your case, that would talk about integrated first system. And then you add another model, that it, and, and slowly, by different modules and step, that's where you're going towards with the smart city. So uh, I like that. And, and the second thing, I, I really like what you said, which I think a lot of people forget about this, and it's a message I really want to um, uh, send across, especially for the technology uh, service provider, but also products and technology. You said, I'm going to have to quote you because I really like that. You said, data and tech is just an enabler towards what you want to achieve as a smart and inclusive city. And this I really like because when I have discussion with, uh, you know, sensor companies or different technology providers, they see their technology as the end game, as the end goal. And I always am not fighting with them, but having those debates to say, well, what is your technology bringing in terms of measurable benefits for the population? Because at the end, me, I'm more into transport, you know, it's my background. So if you look at transport, yes, okay, maybe it's good to have a new technology in transport, but if it doesn't reduce the cost for one user to go from A to B, What's the point or the comfort or many metrics to have, right? So this is what you're saying of smart city is very close to inclusive city because the smart needs to boost the inclusive, correct? Yeah, of, of course. I think uh, you nailed it in the sense that like you, it help, it help, it's helpful you know, to have a clear focus on what you're trying to achieve. And usually in city development, that's again, um, city residents, um, including both people and businesses. So if you have a clear focus on that, I think it's easier to sort of uh, uh, develop your pathway to achieve the goal and how to pull into pull in different resources and then um, measures uh, to achieve the goal. And, and when we focus on you know, city residents uh, and people, then obviously um, you will have a lot more ideas in terms of how we can use technology and other means to make it, um, beneficial for everybody.